Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special episode of Scoot Wars. Today, it is Apex Pro Scooters versus Envy Pro Scooters. We're going to find out today who can make the better custom builds. Is it Apex? Is it Envy? What sort of parts have they got on offer? And what do the builds end up looking like? We're going to find out. Every scooter you're going to see here today was submitted by viewers. If you'd like to find out how to submit yours, just wait till the end of the video and I will tell you then. And we're jumping in. The first whip right here, we've got an Apex complete. We're going to start with the Apex. We're going to go to the Envy and we're going to flip flop between the two of them. Apex, Envy, Apex, Envy. You get it. So this first build, it's got those uh, chromoly T-bars, red ethic grips, you know, double HIC clamp, Apex deck, root forks. What are the wheels? They were river glides, I think. Pretty park oriented scooter. As you can see, the brake fitment though is not so great. And the grip tape needs some love. Yo! Next! Somehow for this episode, I don't have everyone's names. So if you could just sound off in the comments, that would be chill as well. I just want to let you guys know that I'm kind of going through restructuring how I do the Scoot Wars. So our first Envy scooter is holding up pretty nicely. It's got an actual colorway going on. Chrome and red seems to be the go here. Uh, tilt Arc SCS clamp. The forks I'm assuming are lucky. They look to be a lucky model. Right Urban Art grip tape. One back peg on the right hand side. Tie bars once again. ODIs. And here are the riding clips. Two pretty decent scooters here, although I think I'm going to have to go with the Envy pick on this one, just for the fitment and the installation of parts. Next, Apex. We've got a blue and purple half-half, five wide right here with two chubby wheels. Chrome Root Industries fork and clamp looking pretty nice. Black bars with the undialed sticker. They look to be oversized. It's running HIC, not IHC. It has the foot fender on the back there, and I'm not sure of the brand of bars. They haven't been shown up close, but I'm assuming Scooter Hut Titanium T-Bars is what I would assume. Next, we've got an all black NV whip. This is a AOS, I want to say V4. AO Quadrum Fork, Root Industries Double Clamp, NV Headset. The wheels, I can't really tell, but the bars look to be either Apex Bowls or some sort of bowl bar cut. Don't need wings to fly. It's a Charles Bedell Sig AOS V4 with the plugs and pink ODI long neck grips. All black is a pretty safe bet when you're making a custom build. It definitely allows for you to switch colors out later on, being at the wheels and uh, hand grips usually. But if you do stick with an all black setup, it tends to kind of hold its age a little longer. Do you know what I mean? It just, just stays nice a little bit longer. The scratches are less noticeable is what I mean. So here we go. Here's the five wide versus the V4 AOS. What do you think? Next, we've got a bronze Apex deck. This one's looking extremely faded. Uh, dryad bars from Ethic, duct taped, uh, oath component grips. This thing is beat. Two 110 mil wheels, no brake, random speed holes. This thing has been butchered by its owner. <laughs> Feels bad. He's done his build half fast, like he has his riding clip. Didn't even land it. Come on, man. Next, we got a white prodigy. Now, this one isn't too custom, but it's got a couple of different parts on there, which is actually making it look pretty nice. You got the white prodigy deck. It's probably off the street version, although he's removed the deck plugs and installed two chromoly pegs by the looks of things. Uh, looks like an animal fork on the front or a Root Industries fork. Uh, 110 honey cores from Root. And the bars, grips, clamp are stock. So what do you guys think? The bronze apex or the white prodigy? I'm definitely going with the prodigy here. Next up, we got an Australian-themed Apex custom build. Now, this one looks super unbalanced, if I do say so myself. Big T-bars with a very short 19.5 long deck does not feel nice. 
You need to get a bigger deck, upgrade to the five, get a 23 long, and then run those bars. You'll be feeling much better. Um, I can only imagine this guy's looping out on every single other trick. You know, he's falling backwards all the time. That's what happens when you've got a tiny deck and big tall bars. Oh, look, kitty. Good! The build itself is pretty loud. Got the Lace Gang on there. Tana Fox, Sig Wheels, Apex Fork, Clamp, Deck, I'm assuming Headset, Ethic Grips, Affinity Bars, Vital Grip. Next, we've got a custom Prodigy. Look at those handlebars. Black and white wrapped. It's got a Tilt Sculpted SES, Lucky Forks, Envy Wheels, a couple of stickers, and a black Prodigy deck with the deck plugs. Still run it. Now, this scooter doesn't really have too much of a color scheme going on, but I gotta say, it looks as if a common theme here seems to be that the Envy Riders know a little bit more what they're doing visually. So what do you think? This Apex build or the black uh, Envy? Next, we've got a blue and black Apex. This has a mean color scheme. This is the first Apex build that we're seeing on the submissions today with really nice uh, photos and B-roll. Love the cat picks, guys. Keep them coming. So you got the black ether grips. Looks like Scooter Hut tie bars. Uh, the bowl bar cut. Not a fan of these. Uh, tilt clamp. No. Colony headset. Apex forks. A black SCS. Atlas Co. grip tape. Two ethic V1 in-cube wheels. And uh, that's pretty much that. Next, an Envy Will Scott custom build. Has two protoplasma wheels. The grip tape looking pretty shocking there. Uh, T-bars, titanium, no doubt. Uh, two grips. I want to say they're ethics, the clear ones. Here's the Will Scott SIG deck and graphic, of course. Envy Forge clamp on the front with the Root Industries fork. So here we go with the comparison. The Apex definitely taking the win in this round. Here we have another awesome submission by an Apex rider. You got the uh, 4.5 wide park deck, two root industry wheels. It's got the SES and fork, black T-bars, ODIs. And these photos are just amazing. There's so many of them. There's lots of B-roll, lots of options. And um, yeah, it looks like this rider has got a bit of experience behind the lens as well as on the scoot and building scooters. This is a great submission and I rate it a 10 out of 10, honestly. Next, here's a very, very basic Envy build. This is a, I want to say, uh, oh my gosh. What is that cutout? Mm, no, no, no. Uh, 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 that's a bit much. Vital grip tape and grips must be a Raymond Warner fan. I think they're ethic steel bars as well, probably from the complete. Uh, what is the deck though? I think it's the KOS complete version. So it must be quite dated. Although, it's looking pretty nice with the fresh grip from the top view. I don't mind it from the top view. Just the bottom with that cutout, that is shocking. And I cannot believe your scooter has not broken yet. That is outrageous. It's How have you done this? Gotta give him credit though. The B-roll in this submission is not half bad. He's got the sliders. He's got the rotations, the pans. He's got it all down. I like that. I was going to say this would be an obvious pick, but uh, they kind of neck and neck on this one. I need your help to decide. Next, we've got a green Apex with, ironically, some Envy parts on it. we got the Envy uh, Reaper bars on there. Apex, SCS, and Fork. Two Honeycore, no, sorry, Full Core wheels from Root Industries. It is the Dylan Morrison SIG deck, quite dated, quite old. Next, another basic black uh, Prodigy complete. Oh, I think this is an NV1 uh, custom build, actually. It has the Declare Fork, the double clamp. Uh, the very, very basic uh, NV1 sort of maybe KOS deck uh, name. Don't know. Don't really care. This was probably the old Prodigy before the deck changed, actually. Yeah, that's probably it. V3 Reaper bars, NV TPR grips. A lot of NV love in here. And considering the fact that this video is supposed to be about the comparison between Apex and Envy as brands making custom builds, I want to make this point, is that Envy has a lot of range. Envy has all those baseline model completes. Apex don't do any completes. 
Apex is a fully aftermarket uh, company. They don't even make wheels. They don't make hand grips. There's a lot of things they don't actually make. Now, the things they do make are hella expensive. And in my personal opinion, I wouldn't be forking out $500 for a deck. I think that's majorly overkill. And there's no argument that Apex is, is making stuff that no one else makes. And that's why they price it that way. To the contrary, there is an abundance of scooter brands out there that make much more than what Apex makes and sell it for much, much less. So coming back to the scooter, my main point is, is that the Envy's got to take the win here because Envy, you can buy a base model complete and then start customizing it right away, affordably and without too much worry of your parts breaking because it is quite a well-renowned brand. So what do you think? Envy, Apex, who done it better, and which of your friends here in the video have made a better custom build?